If you have submitted your US tax form in Google AdSense, YouTube is asking you to resubmit it again. Because if you don't, they will deduct your earnings and pay it as taxes to the US government. And if you have not submitted your tax form at all, it's even worse. I've gotten about 4 requests to create this video, but I decided not to create the video at first until I discovered that many of you guys are submitting your tax form for the wrong reasons. Now, if you submitted your tax form before, it's not every one of you guys that have submitted your tax form are required to resubmit the tax form again. Let me explain. Before, YouTube does not deduct your earnings. If you are earning $350 in a month, they will pay you $350. If you earn $200 in another month, they will pay you $200. They don't deduct any money as tax from your earnings before. But YouTube is a company that operates under the US government. So since they operate under the US government, they are under some of the government policies and laws. So there are just some laws they need to abide by. So in 2021, the US government decided to start collecting taxes from online content creators even though you are in the US or not. So that is when the issue of this tax comes in place. So YouTube as a company under the US government have to abide by this rule. So in 2021, they started requesting for your US tax form. So you need to indicate if you are a US person or not. There's one thing about you submitting your tax information. In the US, if you submit your tax information, that your information expires in 3 years. So after 3 years, you need to resubmit your information again. And the reason why they are doing this is because they believe that after 3 years, a lot must have changed about you, you must have relocated to a different country or you are even relocated to the US. Or you might have even changed your name if you are a female. So you are requested to resubmit your tax information every 3, three years. So YouTube as well, when they brought this in, 20, in 2021, your information expires in 3 years. So if you submitted your information in 2021, then your information will expire 3 years later, which is 2024. If you submitted your information in 2022, it will expire in 2025. If you submitted your information in 2023, it will expire in 2026. If you submitted your information in 2024, it will expire in 2027 and so on. So if your channel has been monetized and you'll be receiving payments from YouTube before 2021 and you submitted your tax information in 2021, then you must have gotten this message from YouTube requesting that you resubmit your tax information. And you might even get the message on your YouTube studio dashboard asking you to resubmit your tax information. Now if you submitted your tax information in 2022, 2023 or even this year, 2024, then you don't need to resubmit your tax information because you won't get this message to resubmit your tax information. So you don't need to resubmit it. To know the status of your tax information, all you just have to do is go to your dashboard, go to payments, payment info, under settings, you click on manage settings. Then you scroll down to United States tax info. Click on this edit icon. Then you click on manage tax info. So you click on show tax details and documents. Here you can see your tax information. I submitted my tax information in 2023 and it will expire in December 2026. So I don't need to resubmit my tax form. But if yours says it will expire in December 2024, then you should resubmit the tax form. So if your tax information is not going to expire in December of 2024, you don't need to resubmit it again. You generally you submit your tax form when it is about to expire or you get the notification from YouTube to resubmit your tax information. Alright, so if your tax information is about to expire in December and you do not resubmit the tax information, what will happen to your to your account is that your, your details on the dashboard will change from approved to expired, which means that your tax information have expired so you and both you that have submitted your tax information and someone that didn't even submit the tax information at all, you are both in the same category. So YouTube will deduct your earnings. Now, if you submit your tax information and if you don't submit your tax information, YouTube will also deduct your earnings. That's just the truth. Either you submit your tax information or not, YouTube will deduct your earnings. But there is a difference. So what's the difference? Let's say I own a YouTube channel with a majority of my audience from the UK. 
So most of my earnings comes from the UK, but I also earn money from the US, Canada, India, Pakistan, and others. So if I do not submit my tax form, YouTube will calculate my tax from the total amount I earned that month. So about 24 to 30% of my earnings will be deducted from my total earnings of $300. But if I submit my tax form, YouTube will calculate my tax based on the earnings from my US audience only. So about 24 to 30% of my earnings will be deducted from my US audience alone. So if we are to assume a 30% tax withholding for that month, if I submit my tax form, I'll pay about $18 for taxes. But if I don't submit the tax form, I'll pay $90 for taxes. Alright, so that's just the difference between those that submitted their tax form and those that didn't submit their tax form. Now, let me show you how to resubmit your tax form. Again, go to Payments, Payment Info, Under Settings, you click on Manage Settings. Now, scroll down to United States Tax Info. Click on this edit icon, then click on manage tax info. Click on show tax details and documents. Click on submit new form. So your previously submitted form will be removed if you start a new one. You should take note of that. Click on submit new form and you can read all of this if you want. Then click on start form. You will have to enter your Gmail password to verify that it's you submitting this tax form. Now, here you select individual. And if your account is registered as a business, you select entity. So you click next. Are you a citizen or a resident of the United States? So I will go with no. Select WH Ben. This is the right form for individual accounts. Business accounts will choose W8BCI. Click Start W8 Band Form. Your account name will appear here, so you should leave it as it is. It shows a different name from mine, and that is because I verified the account with my dad's identity card. Again, just leave this and continue. But I would like to change this to my own name. Again, I'm repeating it again. Don't change this. You should know that if you change your name or any details in your already in your account, then you need to verify the name you entered. You see that in a bit. I'm repeating it. Don't change your account name. Country, I will select Nigeria. You can submit your team if you like, but it's optional, so I won't submit that. Next, enter your address. I will also choose this as my mailing address and then click on next. Yeah, you can claim tax treaty with the US. You can check if your country is listed here. But if not, you click on no. I am not eligible for a reduced withholding rate. Do you perform your activities in the US? So I'll go with no. Then click on this checkbox. And then click on next. Yeah, just select go paperless. And you can read whatever it is here if you like. I'll check this box to accept the agreement. Then click on next. Here you can view the form you are about to submit to see if everything is correct. I will click on this check mark. Then next. I'm not going to bore you with this information. Just click on the check mark. Click this as well and you can just leave this as it is or change it to the present year 2024. Select yes, I am the beneficial owner in the tax identity session. Then you click submit. If everything is right, you should get approved. But for my case, I'm not expecting to get approved because I changed the name on the account. Yeah, so I need to provide a valid document to verify the name I entered. I'll do this later. You know what? I'll just do that right now by clicking on submit missing documents and then upload my driving license. Alright, so after about 16 hours, I got the message that the identity card I submitted has been approved. And so is my tax form. Since I'm submitting the identity information in 2024, the form will expire in 3 years time, which is 2027. 
I don't advise anyone using a name different from the one on the account when submitting the tax form. I just decided to test this out. Please use the name on your account to submit your tax form. And that is how to submit your tax form. So if you're not monetized yet and you want to know the process it takes to get monetized, up to you receiving your first paycheck from YouTube, then you might want to watch the playlist right here. My name is Victor Smith and I'll see you guys in the next one.